It's feeling a little better than yesterday. It's TGIF. You're gonna love this audio. Please listen to this 19 years old kid inquires about his self confidence and self worth. The response is simply astounding. I will immediately put into practice today. Again, I want to thank you for listening to my audios. Please try to listen to them multiple times so that you can prove daily. Wishing you an awesome day. Enjoy and chill. How are you doing? Extremely well. So am I. So, for the past couple of years, uh, my mom's listened to a lot of the teachings and it's really resonated with me and uh, I'm only 19 and all I can think of is what if, you know, what if all of my friends knew what I knew? What if everybody knew if I knew, you know? And um, I think for me, uh, the biggest thing that I struggle with is self-confidence uh, and self-worth. Um, now, doesn't mean that I'm not worth anything. I know that everything that I do certainly carries value. However, I think that um, I don't necessarily believe. And I think that through, sorry, I'm gonna move this away. Uh, I think that through the explanation of the grid, I really began to understand that, um, you know, hypothetical situations are really out of the question when it comes to this. And you really have to believe. And, um, you know, especially with relationships to other people, you really have to you know that's really what it is. It's about knowing. And I guess what my question is, is that, um, you know, I, I can see things in other people really well. However, I can't see them in myself. And maybe that's because I don't believe in myself. And um, I guess I need to change that part about the grid and not say that I don't believe in myself. Well, here's the thing. First of all, give yourself a break. And next of all, realize that the way that confidence is going to come and the way that feeling of worthiness is going to come that you're really reaching for is by deliberately offering a vibration and then watching the grid fill in. Right. Isn't that the way you gain confidence in right. anything is by having effective, by finding a way to accomplish effective results. Isn't that what right. confidence is? Finding a way to accomplish effective results. So you said something so wonderful, being the uplifter that you are, the giving person that you are. You see, the reason that you want to be in the right place at the right time and do the right thing is because you want to be beneficial to others. In other words, you, you are a helper and an uplifter. And as you talked about it, what would it be like if they all knew what you're coming to know? Well, they'd all begin feeling great, like you're coming to feel right. great. The, the, the word that is often offered from our physical friends when they sit in the hot seat, they want to find worthiness. And worthiness and security, they sort of wrap around into the same vibration. And we know that we can't love you enough to cause a situation to happen to give it to you instantaneously but we know that we can love you enough that like our principal friend we can establish a vibrational grid that when you begin to catch a whiff of it as you have your mother is listening to these recordings and you're catching a whiff of it. And as you catch a whiff of it, you can feel the resonance of it with your, with, you, you feel the resonance. And when you feel that resonance, that means that you're on the bead, you're on the track, you're on the vibration. It means that you're close enough that you're beginning to pick up on your true grid and what you truly know. And that's what worthiness, that's what the feeling of worthiness is. That's what the feeling of confidence is. It's not about the specific activity that you've accomplished. It's about that basic understanding that no matter what, you're good. And no matter what, all is well. And no matter what, you can apply this to whatever is important to you. Right. You see, because there will always be, there will always, always be for you. There will always be something more that you want. There will always be a gap between where you stand and what you want. That will always be there. But it is our promise to you. There will not always or for much longer be the gap between your understanding that you can have whatever you want. And it's just a matter of focusing in order to allow it. 
and that worthy confidence when that happens oh when that happens you ask what would happen when everyone comes to know what you're coming to know what feeling? will happen is more people will fewer people will need to try to fill the void with things that won't fill it people are running around looking for ways to fill that void in all the wrong places buy one more thing and bring it home join one more club get one more mark on the chart climb to a higher level stand on a bigger bully pulpit get more attention pointed toward me and in most cases there's just not enough that they can do to feel that much better because they're not tending to what really matters and when they tend to what really matters and your true power is resonant within you continuously then you begin enjoying life then people who are watching you feel this ease and confidence in you and they don't really know what it is but if they will watch you for a while these are the things that they will begin to use in their explore explanation of you he these are these are the things that they will say about about this person right there is a confidence that is there but there is also an appreciation of others that is there that that's the way that it will play in other words you you saw what happened and you felt what happened with our principal friend as he is loving loving you see mm -hmm. and that's what they'll feel about you and there will always be those not on the vibe of that who will not find will not verbalize their appreciation of that because they can't so you can't let someone who doesn't get it bother you that's why your two questions as they dovetail together are so important what would it be like if they all did it well it'd be really nice but we don't want you to wish for that because they're not all going to get it and it has to be all right with you that they don't all get it but you have to want it not so that they'll get it you have to want it so that you'll get it but then when you want it so that you'll get it more of them will get it but you can't want them to get it and that's why you want to get it that's what messes it up that's that's where it starts to go screwy yeah. when you do it because they need it now you're not doing it but when you do it because it's natural to you and because it's what your true grid is and you click into that and you find that worthy self-confident feeling then everything just turns out good for you and people will watch you some of them will be jealous they're not in the vortex but they will be because everything's going your way some of them will be attracted to you and they'll want to know what you know and when they are you can tell them what you know I figured it out I finally figured it out it's how I feel and I can control how I feel and as long as I'm controlling how I feel then it's like there's this grid that fills in with good stuff and look at all the good stuff that filled in for me because I feel good and they'll say well I don't feel good and say yeah that's why good stuff's not filling in for you <laughs> try it it's easy try it it's easy it's what we want to say to all of you and it's easier for you to find the ease of it than it is somebody who hasn't been trying for a longer period of time right. the little ones are really easy the little ones are really easy is that why one of the uh, biggest criticisms I've had uh, you know pointed towards me is that I'm emotionally you know not vulnerable or you know I don't necessarily connect on an emotional level with someone else because yeah. you're because not, they're will not there yet. you're not willing to go specific in a direction that doesn't feel good to you right. that's what they're trying to describe to you isn't it what you're talk to me you say talk to me talk to me you need to talk to me about this thing that is bothering me you need you need to talk to me about this thing that's bothering me and unless I can get it to bother you as much as it bothers me you're not there for me you're emotionally unavailable to me right and you want to say you got that right I intend I intend to remain emotionally unavailable to you unless you are specifically ecstatically joyously creating then I'll join you completely and it's just like you were saying with uh, the gentleman before me how and if they don't get that yet you have to appreciate them for where they are in their process right love them where they are just love them where they are because they are where they are and no matter where they'd like to be they are where they are and if you can love them where they are where they are then your grid doesn't get messed up but if you let where they are and not being able to love where they are be your experience now you're messing up your own grid isn't it interesting you gotta love them where they are in order for your grid to work for you 
Go figure. That's all I needed to hear. I appreciate it. Thank you.